What's up everybody, Cole with Cole Miner Customs here. Today we're going to be using the M1. I'm going to show you how to uh, do larger engravings uh, with the M1 by taking the base plate out and the riser base off. So hey, let's get into it. Hey, if you like any of the machines that I have here, the S1, F1 Ultra, or the M1, check out that description down below. So as you can see, we've taken the riser base off. And we've also taken the base plate out as well. Coming over here to our material, if you see this X that's right here, I'm going to try to zoom in for you. There's an X right there. That is the center of our material. So once you get the center of your material, you'll, you'll basically place the M1 on top of your material. As you see right here, we've got a piece of plywood that's on this desk. Uh, once you find your center, you're going to measure from your center to each side of your engraving area. So what you're looking for is you're looking for to pull from center to the top and to the bottom, and you're making sure that you get the same distance in the, from left to right and up and down. Once you get the machine square, what I've done is I've actually made some pencil marks on each corner right here, just in case the machine shifted. Um, that would help me uh, align it back up, but you'd still need to go back in here and pull your measurements to make sure that you've got everything squared. Now coming over here to the computer, as you can see, we've got our power set at 95, speed at 90, one pass. And that's our distance. Uh, once you get it all squared up, you would want to hit auto measure, and that's what was coming up on my computer. And then, of course, we did select base plate removed. Now, this is a three-quarter inch piece of plywood. Um, I do recommend, I don't have them on mine because it does weigh enough. You may want to place some clamps on this just to keep from uh, the machine shifting. But having it at this speed, at 90, the machine doesn't wobble. I'll show you a little bit of running time here. As you can see, it set at 90. Um, the laser is not moving that fast, but we did want a deeper engraving, um, or the customer did. Okay, so we got the material out from underneath the laser. I'll just show you exactly what this looks like once it's done. So what this is, is actually going to be a stove top cover, um, and this will be for the handles. Um, basically, these, these are just kind of some decorative pieces here. All right, I want to go more into detail about uh, finding your center of your piece of material. So when you're placing your M1 on there, uh, for this, you can use either a flexible tape like this or just a regular measuring tape. You'll pull from one corner to the other corner. And in this case, we've got right at 36 inches, just shy of it. So basically find the center of 30, 36 inches, make you a mark. Um, and then you would pull from this corner to this corner, which we've got 36 inches. Then you'd find half of 36 inches. Once you've got your two marks, those two marks need to intersect, and that will give you your cross, which will be your center of your material here. From that point, you would want to measure out your bed space uh, in the M1, figure out exactly what, how much engraving area you have, and then you would go from your center mark to your edge here, your center mark to your edge here, and so on and so forth. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this out. I'm not going to uh, do this part in the video, but we will take this, sand it, stain it, and then put these pieces on here uh, to get ready for the actual handles and then uh, basically finish it up for the customer. Hey, if this video was helpful, give us a thumbs up. And also, too, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And, hey, we'll see you next time.